Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 22 Thoughts. This episode is called The End. And apparently it was originally supposed to be the actual series finale. And it does work quite well as that. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. The episode is rated TV-14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, um, really excellent discussion at the start of the episode about, you know, do they save Coulson or do they use the, the yeah, do they, do they focus, because the, they only have enough for either on Coulson or for Graviton. And and Yo-Yo grabs the thing and, and, you know, refuses to let them and May destroys the Odium, causing Yo-Yo to drop it. And, yeah. See, you know, just absolutely emotionally devastating as a good season finale should be. And, yeah, I love when, <laughs> yeah, so Talbot is trying to, to intimidate Robin, and, you know, I, th I, th I think it's when he says, you know, if you don't, you know, mark with the, the pen, I will just absorb your powers, and she just says, no, you won't. <laughs> because she knows, she knows that he's not going to do that, she hasn't seen it. So, yeah, let's see, and, yeah, uh, I appreciate, you know, I, th I think it's, Yo-Yo says something like, you, um, I'm sorry you're going to die, or something like that, and, you know, he's like, I mean, I'm not a vampire, of course I'm gonna die, you know, we're, we're all gonna die. I meant soon, so did I. Ah, uh, Talbot, one quick note. You need to work on your landings, buddy, but yeah. It's the it's the MCU dipping into 9-11 porn yet again, you know, crashing into buildings. I think this even is in New York, you know, and there's a dust cloud, there's a bunch of people, you know, you've got first responders and all, all this stuff, just, yeah. The movies do it more than, than this show does. I would say. Um, let's see. And... Um, yeah. Um, Deke and Daisy talk. And, you know, yeah. It does make a lot of sense that he leave for, for him to to leave and I like the thing with you know I'm like a squirrel oh by the way I found a nature book I know what squirrels are now just offering my two cents I also found a book on idioms and see. yeah very intense when so so yeah Talbot pulls part of the ground up out of New York and then you know, the, the, yeah, finds a, you know, a little bit of the, the substance and absorbs it really nicely done with, like, yeah, it's, it's very clear, you know, this is going to, if he keeps doing this, it's, it's going to, to kill a lot of people and, and yeah, eventually split the planet open. And I do appreciate, you know, making Mac the, you know, Daisy chooses Mac should be the leader. And we get, you know, because, yeah, you know, she has struggled somewhat with the leadership position. And I love her pointing out, you are the, what was it, the moral center of the team. And it's absolutely true. Really appreciate a, a piece of American media saying that about a, a black man. You know, there's so many conservative Americans who don't think that African Americans can be, you know, moral when in reality, like, they were the ones who were slaves. It was the slave owners who couldn't be moral. You know, hypothetically, they could have been. They could have given up slavery, but a bunch of them would rather fight a war against their own people to keep slaves. And, and, you know, immediately he says, we save lives, you know, just, yeah, absolutely, as it should be. And, and yeah, you know, he c communicates with the first responders, 
and and you know give some some very sensible orders ending with do not engage the enemy it is very complicated he is not in a s situation in his life right now where he can commit long term and yeah we realize colson did not take the the serum and Polly, Polly, want a cracker? And yeah, so cool when Daisy and and Talbot fight. Just yeah, and it is very clever. You know, when he has his back to her, when he's not expecting her, you know, she takes a running start, and then she uses her quake powers to launch herself. You know, instead of attacking him directly, because that doesn't seem to to work. At least not what he's expecting it. But yeah, tackling him like that, yeah. And let's see. Then we, yeah, and you know they have the the hero speech, and Talbot points out, yeah, Hale said that to me before she tortured me. Coulson says it every time he stabs him in the back. You know that is the problem with with something like that. You know if if the person has heard something like that before and connects it to to bad memories and he again says you know yeah he says something like I alone can fix it very Trumpian so yeah they're going the whole nine yards appreciate it and yeah love the moment when Robin like stops in her tracks and she's like something's different because <laughs> they could so easily have had her say they saved it they made it you know they they fixed you know they 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 did the right thing but no, she says different. That does not mean better. That could easily mean worse. You know, I don't know what's much worse than splitting the planet open. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's something. And, yeah, Daisy uses the, the serum to power herself up. And, and, yeah, you know, Talbot is very difficult to get to. But if, you know, she... She launches both of them up into the air, and he ends up in space. That, or, orbit, whatever, you know. I, whatever the term is, you know. And, and yeah, dies from exposure. There's not, there's nothing in the gravitonium that would prevent that. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and Fitz thinks that his leg is broken, but it is much worse than that. And, you know, I, I will also say that you, it would be a pretty ridiculous amount of plot armor if he was able to just walk away from, like, it collapsed onto him. Like, that's, yeah. And I, I really like, you know, Mac stays there and says, you, you did it, you know, you saved Robin. I mean, we, we all saved Robin, but you were part of it. You were a smidgen of the, you know. No, he's, he makes sure that, you know, Fitz's seemingly dying moments are, you know, that he's not really, really stressed and, and anxious and let's see. right yeah devastating when when Simmons just fantastic acting by Elizabeth Henshaw in, in general such great acting on the show you know she like uh, I think it's Mac who comes to to break the news to her and you know at first she's like oh we did we did it you know we we fixed it and you're you're here to tell me you know he's okay and you know the her face as she realizes, and and the camera just holds on that you know as she you know we we see her realize it and be devastated but but like stiff up her lip through it so yeah because it's it's one of those things where you know be uh, letting you know if she was emotionally dev if she showed that she was emotionally devastated by it that's not actually gonna fix anything. And yeah, we see the you know they they're making the the plaque, and we get some some wrap up montage stuff, 
And, you know, it's like, oh, I guess, you know, Coulson did die. And then, you know, six glasses, wait a second. And he is one of them. And they, they talk about heroism again. And I will say I did find myself, like, I've, I honestly found myself trying to figure out, wait, because th is this some other part is this like it can't be the framework because you know I don't know it's but it was a it was a powerful scene nevertheless and let's see yeah they talk about you know we'll we'll never forget any of the ones that we lost like what's his face and who's it's and yeah, they talk about, you know, there's only, he, Coulson only has days left, and so he goes to Tahiti, and May is gonna be there with him un, until he dies, and then I guess, I'm, I'm not 100% certain, because I, I was thinking, oh, and then afterwards she's gonna go back, but then she did kind of join because of Coulson, uh, uh, you know, at the start of this show, I mean, not not at the very start of... I, I know that she was with S.H.I.E.L.D. before she met Coulson, but joining the, the agents that we've been following since the start of this show. And he said he's throwing away his cell phone, so it's possible that she is going to retire. It wouldn't be the first time, but then there is still space for her to come back in one of the next. But yeah... Uh, so I'm to be trivia. Yeah, the episode was written as a potential series finale, but the show was renewed for a sixth season. And yeah, um, that is. I really appreciate when when shows. I realize it's not always possible, but I always appreciate when they can end a season in a way that's like you know, in case we don't get another season, this is. Uh, proper resolution like I'd be sad if this was really the last one but there, there is still yeah they can you know it's enough that it's like you know there's still a team there going on missions so there's some there's that to follow up on but there's also enough you know like if the episode before this one was treated as the series finale it'd be like you can't just leave it like that what about graviton and someone entered into the imdb goof section the resolution at the end of the team's battle against talbot i.e avoiding the earth splitting disaster opens up an absolute bucket full of worms in terms of plot holes and paradoxes too numerous to even begin to list with not so much as a single attempt being made to explain any of them see there's a lot of people who enter stuff as plot holes without understanding what a plot hole is thinking that oh you know plot hole that's when they make a writing decision that I don't like you know I honestly I don't even know what they're referring to what plot holes and paradoxes and it like what what is there to explain like if if they mention at least one i could engage with that but this is such a pointless there's also nine people voted it helpful 26 voted it unhelpful so i'm not the only person who thinks that this is just yeah you know what once graviton has been dealt with i'm really not sure what is is left for like I mean, are they referring to like? I mean, I, I think the, the there's still you know, but when once Graviton is dead, there's still a hole, you know, where he pulled part of the the Earth out to get some Graviton, Gravitonium, but Quake, you know, Daisy can Quake that hole together, so it's not that the let's see the ship. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I'm not. I'm not certain that would still fly, but they could maybe tow it with possibly not the Zephyr by itself, but with some, you know. Yeah, I have. I don't know. 
Especially paradoxes. What paradoxes? They broke the, the time loop. You know, the, the, the major thing they needed to do was to let Coulson die, and it's going to take a few more days, but, you know, the thing that needed to happen was for the serum to be used to defeat Graviton instead of to save Coulson. So, yeah, I, I have no... Oh, is... Are they referring to Fitz seemingly dying there at the end? I mean, are we certain he didn't already impregnate... Gemma, if if that's the thing they're they're worried about, because like they didn't, the only reason he was there in the future was because he didn't go with when they originally went, and that was months before this one. So he doesn't. I don't think he needs for the timeline, at least for you know. Obviously, I'm sad if he really is dead. I. I don't know if they're going to be able to bring him back, but like I said, I'm kind of confused by the... the. I suppose I'm not still confused, but I was confused, so I'm unsure if I'm still confused. by the Because they talk about, you know, oh, you know, you'll tell Fitz, and I'm like, is this supposed to be before the time travel? Or, or wait, after the, after the time travel, but before they met Fitz, but that doesn't work because they weren't brought back together before Fitz. You know, Gemma wasn't with the others when... Th yeah, I, I don't really... I think by now I understand, but I was confused for slightly longer than I think was entirely beneficial for the episode, for what's supposed to be this big, like... You know, it's it's supposed to provide emotional catharsis where, like, Sad to lose you, but we had, you know, it was good. I, I do quite like the thing of, you know, he gave his life a couple of times. <laughs> you die more than most people I know. And... Let's see. Right, and in the... Yeah, in the connections page on IMDb for this episode, there are some points made about MCU stuff that came after this where something like Tahiti appeared. And, yeah. Um, next, I'm going to cover Season 2 of Legion, you know, those 11 episodes. Season 1 of Cloak and Dagger, those 10 episodes. Season 2 of The Gifted, those 16 episodes, and then review that show. Then it's Cloak and Dagger Season 2, 10 episodes. Then it is season six of the show, the 13 episodes. So yeah, it'll be a little, yeah. Um, what is that? A month and a half or so before I'm back to, to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. If, if I'm able to keep doing one episode per day. But I am really, really looking for, you know. I, yeah, I when, when I talked about, you know, Season one of Legion, you know, I, I mentioned multiple times. I'm, I really, really loved season one, and I've heard great things about season two. And you know, I'm hopeful for Cloak and Dagger. I've, I've heard some bad things, but a lot of those were just like, this isn't exactly like the comics. And then there were other reviewers who would say, okay, so this is different from the comics, but here's why. And I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense, you know. So, yeah, and and also really looking forward to more of the gifted and yeah that is about let's see yeah so tomorrow the first episode of legion season 2 and until then simmons i will prepare the remedy Everyone else should prepare for the end of the world.